What is going on guys? DBG here and it is the first of the month and you guys know what that means. It means we've got a tier list and these are the position tier lists. These are normally the biggest tier list of the month. Maybe the best tier list, well the best overall cards in the middle list but these ones are always always up there. So a huge huge thank you for all the support recently. We are actually for the first time in about two months gaining subscribers which is crazy and right now we have just hit 220k, so a huge, huge thank you for that. Like, that's honestly a milestone I'm waiting for a lot longer than I probably would have expected, but huge, huge thank you, um, anyway, for the support recently. But anyway, yeah, um, we have got this tier list here, and obviously if you guys are new to the channel and like my team content, subscribe. There's nowhere where you're going to find more my team related content. Um, so yeah, now let's get on to it. Okay, so Steph Curry is the first player. And in terms of current point guards, I mean, if you're talking next gen, he's B, not A. He's B if you're talking next gen, he's D if you're talking current gen, because especially the cold zones and current gen, so. Because every, basically everyone's good on next gen, except for like Stockton, Draymond, Zion. Uh, I'll put him D at this stage. Yeah, looking at these cards, all the recent cards, I think you want to put him in D. We'll be free. I mean, at this stage, D as well. D as well, no clamps, decent of dunker, no range eater, decent shooter. I mean, he's fine. There's nothing I can really say about we'll be free. Like, it's not like he's a terrible card, but he is only fine. Fine is the best way that I can describe we'll be free. Okay, now we got Earl. Earl Monroe. I mean, I hated Monroe when he first came out. Like, he can run. That's about it. But all, like, World Be Free can run. Now, give me World Be Free over Earl any day. But, can I might move World Be Free up one? Yeah, I'm going to keep Earl down at D. I'm going to move World Be Free up to C. I hate Earl. And, like, I hate Earl. I actually like World Be Free a lot more. But, like, objectively, he's probably as good, if not better, than Steph. Steph's pretty good, though. And then we have Jojo. Jojo's like... I mean, Jojo's A tier. Especially badged up Jojo is A tier. And I just realized I forgot a player here. I forgot a very good player, in fact. I forgot Mo Williams, who is so similar to Jojo. Mo Williams, Amethyst would be in A tier. I have just completely... Maybe he wasn't updated on 2 KMT Central or something, but... He would be up there with Jojo. Mo Williams is really, really good. Well, they're basically the same card. They're almost identical speed-wise. They're almost identical shooting-wise. It's a pre it's preference whether you prefer base 4 or Paul George base. And they both come up basically the same badges. They're almost identical. So, um, yeah, both of them belong in the same tier of A tier. Then we have Stefan Marbury. I mean, he's fast. He's a little bit better than Earl. So, I'm going to put him in C, but... No, I don't think at this stage in the game, Marbury is the greatest card in the world. Let me get Steph. Let me put Steph up here in S tier. There's no... There's no ifs or buts about it. Steph Curry is an S tier point guard. Not only an S tier point guard, the best in the game. Again, most more often than not, he is my favorite. Um, More often than not, he's my favorite point guard or favorite card in the game but you can definitely argue for Blake I'm not gonna say Blake is better but you can definitely argue that Blake is better so I'm gonna put Steph though in well there's no question about it Steph's S tier we got Koozie B tier I mean Koozie when he badge glitch Koozie with half rank or gold range is quality but like without badges He's got an okay, but not great release. He's not going to dunk it. Stats-wise, he's actually ridiculous, by the way. He's actually ridiculous stats-wise. I just There's just something about him. Just something about him. And he's terrible next-gen. So he's going B tier. D-Rose. I mean, he's like a better Marb, A slightly better... He's better dunking... No, he's a better dunking Marbury, but a worse three-pointer. That's basically what he is. But he still has got half quick for his step and a good dunk. He can still speed glitch by people and dunk the ball to the basket. He still is. He's still ridiculous. He's still ridiculously good on offense if you know how to use him. But he plays no defense. He's like much worse than well. 
He's like John Wall without any sort of defense. So, um, yeah, he's C-tier. Then we got Mo Cheeks. I mean, if you were asking me who I would rather use in a game, Mo Cheeks or Derrick Rose, I couldn't tell you which which I'd like, like to use more. Mo Cheeks got gold clans, 96 lateral quickness. A moderately good release. So on next gen, he, greens every, he can green everything. As well as 96 on ball steel fancy. Like, he's better than Steph and he's better than Nero. I'm going to say it right now. He's better than both of them. He is really good. As well as go quick for Steph. Great layup animations. And I'm saying this right now. Mo Cheeks is better than Gary Payton. I hate Gary Payton. I don't necessarily regret locking in for him. And the reason why I don't regret locking in for him is that he was my starting point guard. And I actually used him very, very effectively while getting Paul Pierce. And Paul Pierce has played like 250 games for me. So yes, in hindsight, would I have rather had the 500k for Ben Wallace a few weeks later? Yes, but look, it was not. I don't regret locking in for Gary Payton. I do, however, massively regret locking in for uh, Dennis Robin, but you live and you learn, I guess. Gary Payton, though, he's D tier. Then we got Dennis Johnson. I mean, he's better defensively than a, a Mo Cheeks, but the problem is he can't shoot at all. Like, the gap between a 73-pointer and a 63-pointer is massive. Like, you can hit with a 73-pointer, especially next-gen. If you were using the stick on current-gen pre, pre all the stick patches, you could hit every, you could hit a lot with a 73-point shooter. And if you are used to shooting with the stick as well, I'm telling you, you can hit with low-rated players on current-gen still with the stick. I'm telling you right now, I've been using Ralph Sampson quite a bit with the stick, and he can hit quite consistently. So... Yeah, no one's going to be using stick, but trust me, these guys actually can't hit. Well, especially Cheeks can hit with stick. Jason Kidd. I mean, they're all really similar. I just think, well, Cheeks the best of them all. And a kid, Peyton, Johnson, Cheeks, they all play very similar. Stats-wise, you would think that Jason Kidd would be, um, like, the best of them all. But he's just, oh, there's just something about him. His release is awful. That's about it. And we got Isaiah Thomas. Um, Isaiah Thomas is probably like low B tier. He plays defense quite well. He's like a much better shooting, faster Mo Cheeks. That's basically what you are getting out of Isaiah Thomas. He's a card that I actually don't mind. I used him on my team for, for a little bit when he first came out. I was actually 50 50 on running him in the very first 250 qualifiers. I didn't in the end. I went with Sleepy instead, but I'm sorry, I went with Kyle Larry instead, but he's good. Speaking of Kyle Lowry, Kyle Lowry probably being B tier as well. And we got Steve Nash. I mean, badged up Steve Nash, B tier. Not badged up Steve Nash. Um, sorry, not badged up Steve Nash, probably C tier. Badged up Steve Nash is B tier. Badged up, I mean, you can get basically every important badge in the game, so. Can't not put him B tier. And then Jerry West, who I don't think I have on here, wherever. Like, literally the same as Bob Cousy. Doc Rivers. He's like low B tier. Pro 3 behind the bank. Decent overall stats. Bronx clamps. He's good. Doc Rivers is good. He's B. He's like... He's nothing spectacular, but I think he does belong in B tier. Then we got Sleepy. When we're talking badged up Sleepy, the guy is A tier. And it's... There is no doubt about that. The guy can get range. He can get clamps. He gets quick first step. Has a 70 dunk of hell, which is basically unblockable. You go into a dunk animation on current gen, you are dunking every single time. Um, he's also got, he's just got some really, really nice animations. The base 22 is a release that I really like. Yeah, his upper looks a little bit iffy, but once you get used to it, it's very easy to time. Maybe it's because I've been using a bunch of base 22 players all year, but I really like Sleepy. So Sleepy is going into A tier for me. Now we got Stockton. Stockton S tier. He is the second or third best point guard in the game on current gen. Stockton sucks on next gen. I'm sorry, I so, like, I hate playing current gen, so I just don't play current gen. Like, I might, like, I think it's, like, 2nd of January or something, when 250 is. So I'm probably going to bang out, practice a little bit, two or three days before 250, and then maybe scrape into the top 30 again, something like that. Um, I'll be happy with it, but John Stockton, man, on next gen, I don't, there's something about him. People, everyone will say this, he is awful. He is awful, like... But in current gen, he's ridiculous. He dunks on everybody. He shoots from deep. Got a super quick release. In my opinion, it's really easy to green. Really, really good defender. Still belongs in S tier. And we got Kyrie. 
I mean, Kyrie's A. His handle's pretty nice. He feels good dribbling the ball. His release, because it's on quick, is actually really good this year. Because a lot of people's releases are, on, are slower than they were last year because of no quick draw. Where Kyrie's release on quick feels like half quick draw. Um, again, a player that I think is a really, really good um, offensive point guard, but doesn't play any defense. So he's getting A tier. Then we got Darren Williams. Now, we got a lot of good point guards, like, in a row. Like, I'm pretty sure it was, like, a week at the end, from, like, the end of September to the start of October where we got Stockton and then everyone started getting Curry and then Darren Williams and Kyrie were, like, the next week. Like, it was, it was madness. I'm pretty sure, like, in a seven-day span, we got Stockton, then people started getting Curry, then Kyrie, then Darren Williams. Like, they were all... Compared to what we had before that week, a ridiculously good point guard. Sure, before that week, Sleepy is probably the best point guard in the game. Let me get Derek Fisher. I mean, he's better than Kyrie. He's low A. He's definitely low A. I mean, Derek Fisher might have been... He was the week after Kyrie as well. We got a lot of point guards over that week. Over those, like, whatever, 10 days. That's crazy. But Fisher... Again, Fisher is a really good shooter. Got Curry slide. Really good on defense. Good release. I like him. And we have got... Um, I need to actually put someone in worthless, don't I? I've just been looking at these guys right here. Let me chuck... I mean, Gary Payton's not worthless in either staff. Are any of these guys worthless? But they all serve a purpose. Lamelo, maybe. If you're talking current gen, he sucks. Like he, uh, if you're talking current gen, Lamelo absolutely sucks. There's nothing good he does. So yeah, let's put Lamelo on worthless. But then we got Chauncey Billups. Chauncey Billups. I don't know if I want to put him low A or high B. Cause like he doesn't play all. He's better, way better defender than anyone here on A. He's just oh, I hate him. I hate him so much. I hate him so much, but. Let me throw him on the end. Yeah, let me put him on the end of A. I think that's where he belongs. Then we got Rafer Alston. I mean, Rafer's going S. Rafer is going into S tier, lads. If you guys don't agree with me, you probably have not used Rafer, especially on next gen. We're talking next gen. Rafer is... That release is just green, the most green release in the game. And it's so quick. So, so good. Steph Curry, or... If, Trey Young, wherever Curry is. Trey Young's got Curry's light and a decent release. That's literally, that's it. That's all he has. Not much else, but shit, that's all you need in this game, though, isn't it? A release and Curry's light. John Wall get into S tier. John Wall is one of the best point guards in this game. You can argue he's number two. You can argue he's number three, four, five. But, like, we got Steph Curry, and I think we got these four as the next four in terms of the point guard position. But yeah, these John Wall definitely belongs as tier. The best dunking, best dunking point guard in the game. Gilbert. Gilbert next. Uh, I mean, he should be S tier. I don't like him, though. He's A tier as far as point guards go. His release is so bad. I'm sorry. I hate it so much. I hate phase 11 this year. And they walked today. I don't know what they did to him. They ruined it. They ruined it. We got Oscar Robertson. I mean, like, I can't say Oscar Robertson's worse than Doc Rivers. He's just not worse than Doc Rivers. I don't like him for his price. I think he's a very, very overpriced player. But I cannot argue that he is worse than Doc Rivers. Like, he just simply is not. As much as I would like to say that he's worse and put him down in one of these tiers, he's just not. He's better than him. Get him into B tier. He's still got Pro 3 behind the back. He's still able to attack the basket well. He's still decent in the post. He's still got a lot of things going for him. Then we got Tony Parker. I mean, Tony Parker is not that bad. He's got like 96 speed. He can go to the basket. Like, he shoots the mid-range well. He finishes not great at the basket, though. He shoots the three ball well. He's like a much better, like an Earl or something. Do I bring Earl up a tier? I mean, there's almost nothing separating these two tiers. 
And there's almost nothing. You could interchange any of these players. I don't think you could really complain. Then we have got Ricky Rubio. Rubio getting to eight here. Badged up Rubio with that release, man. Man, if you guys know, if you guys know, you know. If you know, you know, lads. Um, Ricky Rubio's release is literally like the fastest release in the game. It's Kenny Smith's release. He's got okay dribble moves. He's a great defender. He is A tier fully badged up. And I have no problem saying that. And we got Pat Beverly. I mean, he's basically Mo Cheeks, but you sacrifice a bit of the speed for a three pointer. So I'm going to put him C tier. I actually like Pat Bev more than most people. Give me Pat Bev over any of these guys. If I was running a normal game, actually, if I'm on next gen, give me Curry. If I'm uh, on current gen, give me Pat Bev. Then we got CP3. I mean, CP3 is not obviously not D tier. He is like, he's as good as Isaiah Thomas. He'd be like middle of B tier. He would be middle of B tier. CP3, I can't believe I'm saying this. It's not that bad. Like, you do not know my hatred for Chris Paul cards in this game. You do not know how much I hated Chris Paul in 2K19. You don't know how much hate I got for hating Chris Paul in 2K19. Like, I was public enemy number one. It was worse than when I said Kobe Bryant Galaxy Oval wasn't good last year. It was worse than that. If you guys don't remember, I literally, um... The amount of hate I got. I had a thousand people in a stream giving me abuse because I said that, that Kobe Bryant card sucked. And um, it was the exact same in 2K19 when I said Chris Paul sucked. And Chris Paul was... I was public enemy number one for hating Chris Paul in 2K. But I'm telling you that right now, this Chris Paul's good. It's the first time we've seen a good Chris Paul in a long, long time. But this Chris Paul is good. Russell Westbrook badged up A tier. Like, he's one of the better A tier cards. Badged up Westbrook is really good. He is really good. He is one of the most underrated cards in this game. Yes, he doesn't have hot zones. Yes, he only comes with bronze non-upgradable range. Yes, he only comes with silver quick first step. But like, what is it? Like, 30k to buy the card. Ten, let's pay 10k. You'll find a quick first step gold badge for less than 10k right now. Then suddenly you've got a dude that is capable of basically being John Wall. 96 speed. Decent three-point shot. Good release. You're basically getting John Wall for 30k. And people don't realize it. Is he quite as good as John Wall? No, which is why he is a tier lower, but... Russell Westbrook, fantastic. He's going A tier. Then we got Steve Francis, A tier as well. Steve Francis got a 90 dunk, the best value point guard in the game. And it's not even close. When we're talking about best value point guards, I'm going to probably, I'm actually going to be making that series again, probably in the middle of the month, where I look at like the best and worst value point guards. I did it last year in September. I'm not going to be doing it once every month. It's just going to be, or in December, it's just going to be like, Again, a new kind of thing for this month because, well, it's December. You better believe I'm locking in this month. Um, but it's going to be one of those things. Or he's the best value point guard in the game. Got the curry slide. Got bronze clamps. Got bronze range extender. Got a 96. Or say he's got a 90-something speed. Got 90-something dunk. He's got only so quick for a step. But again, you can upgrade it. You can argue he's better than Westbrook. You can argue Westbrook's better. But they're both great. They're both great, great cards. Here we got Michael Ray Richardson. I mean... If you've got him in his with his duo, I can't even remember who the duo is with in the uh, in the end. But his dynamic duo is ridiculous. It makes him an absolute beast. Is it? Am I wrong in saying it's Cowens? I am no. I have absolutely no idea. I'm looking it up now. It is with Otis Birdsong. His three pointer goes up to 85. If you can put him on the floor with Otis Birdsong, Michael Ray Richardson is like B tier, low A tier, because he's so good on defense. I'm swapping these. I love I love Mo Cheeks, but they're all basically the same card. Michael Ray Richardson is the best of them all. Yeah, let me put him in. Then we have got Dame. I mean, Dame is Dame's good. I'm sorry, Dame's good. Pro 5 behind the back, really, really nice release. Good dunker. No clamps is literally his only problem. If you're on next gen, he's going to hit everything. Gold range extender. I'm sorry, offensively, he's fantastic. 
it feels like I should make an extra tier on this list. Because, like, Kuzi and Nash, I think, are a tier above. And then these guys should all be kind of a lower tier. But Kuzi and Nash are better than these guys. But also, they don't belong in this tier either. So, I don't know. Maybe I just don't have enough tiers. Charlie Ward. I'm sorry, because he was a free card. Get into Worthless. Charlie Ward cannot speed boost. He is literally Pat Beverly, but can't speed boost. And yes, that might make him... He means maybe he has some sort of a use, but my God, is he not very good. There is no reason to ever use Charlie Ward when Pop Beverly exists. Literally a worse version. That's why I'm putting him worthless. Terry Rozier. I mean, D. He's actually decent stats-wise. Badges-wise, he's not up to much, though. But he's actually all right. He's actually all right. Get into D tier. Killian Hayes. I mean, his animations are good. 6-5, good animations. When he when you fully have him, when you have him fully evoed up at Ruby, he's actually got decent enough offensive game as well. No real defense, so C tier. Cole Anthony's going C. Actually, no, no. Cole Anthony, get down. Steph, get up. Steph, get up in the C tier. Cole Anthony, get up in the D tier. I like Cole Anthony. I am not putting Cole Anthony below. I can't offer Cole Anthony below Steph Curry. In good faith, like. And if Steph Curry is up there, no, Steph Curry's better than Trey Young. Steph Curry's better than Cole Anthony. Yeah, that makes sense. Those these two guys are similar. Cole Anthony just gets a sapphire. He gets goal range extender. That's really it. That's a really big thing with Cole Anthony. So he's going D tier. Um, he's not quite as good. Der Derek Rose literally one tier below this Derek Rose. He is a little bit slower and can't dunk quite as well. That's and other than that's the same card. D Brown. I don't think anyone has him yet. So. I'm going to guess where to put him. And my guess based on how good his stats are is C tier. He's got he's actually he looks really good. And in Jam Rant, I mean B, lower B, kind of similar tier to Tony Parker. Yeah, that's kind of the level he's at. He's a, actually no. Ja Jazz no clamps is the only problem with him, but I'm telling you, he can score. He can flat out score. So anyway, yeah, that is pretty much it. This is the point guard tier list, lads. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.